Hey guys, Henry here from Product Creation Formula. In this video, we're going to be talking about a low content PLR site. Yes, you heard that right, low content PLR. But before we go ahead and do that, I just want to let you know, here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to be able to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews, as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, have you smash that like button, as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon, so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Okay guys, so let's go check it out. Alright, here we are at PLR Planners. Now, this is a done-for-you commercial use design resource for low-content product creation and crafters. So, essentially, when they say PLR, she's saying that you can use this to create your products as is. What she is also saying, if you read through, is that you cannot sell this as your own PLR. You can't just gather all this together and then sell it as a package to somebody else. Unfortunately, but it's understandable that she doesn't want competition like that, especially with the stuff that she's created. So she's giving you commercial use rights rather than PLR rights, but she calls it PLR planners, and that's okay. Of course, you can do things like coloring books, POD products, stickers, digital products, good notes, one notes, spiral bound, Amazon KDP, Etsy junk, journals, scrapbooking. All you have to do is add your own logo and details, publish and sell as your own. You can't just sell them as a PLR product. You're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to sell them as, hey, here's my package. All right, let me resell that to you. No, you can use it as personal use rights or you can use it as commercial use where you can gather them together, create your own books and so forth. But you can't actually sell it as PLR or anything like that. However, if you want to create your own product, you're more than welcome to do that. And you're able to change it up as much as you want. And that's what most PLR products do anyway. So let's continue on. What they have is all these different things. Like for example, you got your automation tools, you got add-ons for Photoshop and PowerPoint, you got budget buy, so things you can buy on a budget. So yeah, things that don't cost you much to buy. Then these are for people who do crafting, like for example, junk journals, as well as skate, uh, scrapbooking. You can also purchase fonts, as well as graphics, clip art, uh, clip up markers, icons, illustrations, patterns, stickers, templates, etc. You can also do planners and journals, as well as printables. For example, your activities and checklists, coloring images, and wall art, as well as templates for JPEG templates, Photoshop templates, PowerPoint templates. You also have training, as well as design, and some freebies as well. So this is called PLR Planners, and as per usual, the link will be in the description down below. So let's have a quick look at all of the stuff that's in here. This is huge, this place. So let's go have a look at the automation tools. I'm just going to quickly click on that. And I already have a video on the calendar creator up there. And uh, if you have a look on the cover above us, you'll be able to see that. Now, if you go down here, you can actually have a look here. You've got page and cover replicator. And you've got journal accelerator. And this one here, picture, picture me perfect. And then you've got size matters. Let's have a look at picture me perfect quick, very, very quickly. Picture me perfect is designed for you to be able to have one picture or have a set of pictures and you can choose as many pictures as you want that can then be spread out throughout the picture area of your planner say for example you have a, a picture of a flower in one corner and then on another corner you have another picture of another flower and then another picture of another flower say for example you want to choose different images you can then go in choose the various images that you want and then you can hit enter and what will happen is it will then put those images in the appropriate places and scale it down to the correct size. So this one here is a plugin and it's $27 and it is really powerful. Let's have a look at the next one. This one here is called Size Matters. Often when you have a planner or something like that, if you wanted to say, for example, resize it from 8.5 by 11 to 6 by 9 you'll find that scaling it down isn't always easy to do it's quite labor intensive you'll most likely have problems trying to do it 
you have to resize everything and get it all down to the right size so as it stays within the aspect ratio. However, with this particular plugin, you can plug this into PowerPoint and it will then resize everything down to the correct size, going from say 8.5 by 11 down to 6 by 9 or whatever of the more common sizes are. And as you go through, you can have a look for yourself for the rest of these and you can have a look at what different types they have. So as I said, the link will be down in the description down below. Let's have a look, uh, look around a bit more of this site. Okay, we have add-ons for Photoshop and PowerPoint. Now these, let's have a look at the PowerPoint add-on. You can have a look at this one. This one's called Swatches. PowerPoint Swatches 1. You got this one here, which is a toolkit. Color Me Custom. Then you got PowerPoint graphics and then you got over here you got your budget buys let's have a look at what's in the budget buys and over here you got coloring images your digital water stickers let's have a look at the price for the kids coloring one let's have a look at this one for one second see what sort of price that she's charging for this 15 kids coloring images and you have a look at this scroll down four dollars and ninety nine well that's pretty cheap that's pretty cheap and you can use those as part of a coloring book if you wish to. Let's go back up. Now for the crafters, say for example you're a crafter and you want to get into all that sort of thing. You can do things like spring bloom paper paper uh, pack. You got magic kids mixed paper clip, uh, clip art, which is cool. Then you got Easter dream graphics, miscellaneous glee graphics etc and as you can go through and find out the different kind of graphics you can get all right so okay graphics let's have a look at the various graphics you got background graphics you got covers clip art let's have a look at the graphics we'll click on that and we've already seen some of these but we can have a quick look around and have, see what other things they might have she's right into flowers this lady so she really does like the flowers Nothing overly masculine here. Then you got uh, planners and journals. Let's have a look at that. We'll click on that. Okay, so you got the various digital planners. We can click on this one. Digital book club planner. Have a quick little squeeze around here. And you can have a little look. So we can have a look here. I might open that up a little bit. And you can have a look and see what this is like. So you got these two pages here, you got this one here, that looks pretty nice. That's really good. Wow. That's really nice. And it gives you some really cool images as well. So here's something from January through to December. And yeah, it's really awesome how she's got this set up. I really quite like this. And as you can see, it goes it's quite long. 114 pages we're not going to go through the entire thing so let's go back up the top and what's this price at by the way we can have a look at the price down the bottom okay $47 for that one so she, yeah it, she sells them individual prices okay so we got printables let's have a look at the printables click on that so over here we have you got your paper dolls, you got your Halloween, then you have cute dog breeds, coloring books, then you got the Mandala collection and Dollar Dollar collection. You've also got 235 fun educational at home activities for kids with Monique Nelson. Then you got Bordering on Zen, kids' maths activities book, 1100 creative writing prompts. Etc. As I said, you can just go through them all here. And let's have a look at the freebies. Freebies are always fun to have. So as you scroll through, you can have a look at this. You've got some spiral markers here. So say, for example, you have your... Now people go, but how do you sell spiral books on Amazon? Well, unless you have your own physical books, you really can't. But... You can go to various places that can make them up for you and you can sell them 
from your own personal Etsy site or from your own personal site. If you were to set up your own Etsy store or set up your own website, then you could have them up on that as well. And then you can have the people who print them up, send it out to them. You can have it that, done that way as well. Can you upload them onto Amazon KDP? No, but you can if you purchase them yourself and, and supply them to Amazon yourself, then Amazon can do that. But you also have over here, you got your various other things here. You got your book tags and book frames. You got PowerPoint publishing, which is for free. And you can go through and have a look at what they've got here. So you can choose what they've got. And these are all free. This entire site is owned by Diana Hauser, or Hauser, whoever, however you pronounce her last name. She's a South African lady. And I believe she may live in the US. But it's a family run business and the entire family seems to be completely involved in this. If you go to the about page, you'll learn a bit more about her and her family. And as you can see, Simone, Andrew, Zane Jensen and Tasha, I'd say these two, these two guys work for them. And these two are a part of her family. Who, yeah, she's the operations manager, he's admin publishing and production so she's the actual founder and designer so it's literally a family run business so if you get a chance or you want to have a look at this site a bit more the link is in the description down below and guys i hope you like this video if you did please consider smashing the like button as well as subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos hey and while you're at it why not share as well as leave a comment down below to let us know what you think of this site okay guys thanks for watching and bye for now